All right, we've got 19 new work from home jobs for you that do not require a college degree. Now, my team and I have been working tirelessly on this video. We did 117 pages worth of research. So this is basically like a book. We, we, we wrote a book to create this video. So guys, if you appreciate that, go ahead, cheers the like button and let's jump into it. First one on the list is going to be a vehicle return clerk. And this is basically where you coordinate the return of vehicles between auto manufacturers and customers, right? So if there's a recall on a vehicle or something along those lines and a vehicle needs to be returned to the auto manufacturer, you would coordinate that. And fun fact here is the first automotive buyback program was by General Motors in the 1990s and it was designed to repurchase defective vehicles from customers. And this is incredibly important because if there is a defective vehicle and a customer gets in an accident because of it, the company can get sued for a ton of money. And also we just don't want that to happen, right? Now, this is a job that is super, super easy to get into and it pays 39 to $58,000 a year. And by the way, for all of these videos, I am gonna be putting job postings up that you can check out. So I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out here. So yeah, this one, super easy to get into. Uh, doesn't require a college degree, doesn't require previous experience. I'm gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is a candidate care position. And this is basically where you hold the hand of a potential employee. Well, not literally, don't get too excited here. Basically, candidate care professionals provide personalized support to people who are applying for jobs and they help them through the recruitment process. So if you're a company and you want top tier employees, you want the recruitment process and the hiring process to be as efficient and smooth as possible. Because if those top tier employees get annoyed by it, they're probably not going to apply or continue if they've already applied. And that's where this position comes in. So a candidate care position makes about six sixty-seven dollars to $111,000 a year. And the cool thing is it doesn't necessarily require a specific college degree or any college degree in some cases. And sometimes it does require previous experience, but they usually don't care what experience you have. More important is your communication skills and your personality. So yeah, another really good one, a uh, little bit harder to get into than some of the other ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an SEO client onboarding specialist. Now SEO stands for search engine optimization. And this is basically how, you know, certain web websites pop up at the top of Google when you search something and SEO agencies, of course, land clients and then onboard them. And these SEO agencies are designed to grow the client's blog by getting them more viewers and growing their audience. Now there's lots of different client onboarding specialists. You could have these for SEO agencies, YouTube agencies, all kinds of different things. And speaking of YouTube, since you guys asked for it, I am doing a live training where I reveal how I grew and monetized my YouTube channel to the point where it's at today. And I'm actually making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month from this YouTube channel. And I only have have to work four hours a week to maintain it. And I reveal my biggest secrets and the newest trends that are making it possible for people to grow incredibly fast on YouTube in this live training. And at the end, you can even ask me any questions that you have. So we have a ton of fun in these. I've done a few of them now, and that's actually happening this week. And to check out the date, just go ahead and click the link down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below. And even if you click on the video well after it's been posted, you can check that same link to see when the next live training is. So can't wait to see you guys there. It's super fun to always meet with you. And when it comes to SEO client onboarding specialists, they make about 58 to $91,000 a year, which is really good money. I'll put some job opportunities up on the screen. You can check them out. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a remote cancer registrar. And this is basically where you analyze data from cancer occurrences from home. And you basically track clinical information about cancer patients. And as you can imagine, a lot of people are very passionate about this subject because it's impacted their lives. And this is how you can actually contribute to eventually curing cancer. And it's relatively easy to get into. This is one of those many medical related jobs that I talk about on this channel. There's tens of thousands of them where they're relatively easy to get into. Usually they do require some training because it's the medical field, but the companies often provide that training themselves and you make about 45 to $78,000 a year. And you can pause the video and check out the job opportunity I'll put up on the screen for you. So yeah, really good one. All these different medical related jobs are extremely solid. I'm going to give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Another medical related career is going to be a provider network coordinator. And this is basically where you coordinate, maintain, and submit various different reports to different departments. And this ensures smooth operations and accurate data management. And provider network coordinators make about 60 to $100,000 a year. So this is one of those jobs where you combine a little bit of technical expertise with healthcare expertise. In many cases, they are going to require that you have some previous experience, but you typically do not have to have a college degree. And usually the previous experience will either be in healthcare or some sort of IT related experience. And you can pause the video and check out the job opportunity. So yeah, really 
really good one, a little harder to get into than some of the other ones on this list, but I really like it. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a web design QA specialist and QA stands for quality assurance. Now quality assurance is incredibly important in any type of creative endeavor. Whenever you're working with a team and you have multiple people working on something, especially creative, you absolutely have to have quality assurance and quality control in place. On my team, for instance, we have a whole quality control process. I have an entire flow chart and training and SOPs and everything. And I actually share all of these when I train people on how to start their YouTube channel as well. And I work with a small group of people per month as clients. Now we keep the group very small because I can only work with a limited amount of people at a time. But if you're interested in growing and making money on YouTube and you're really serious about it, you really wanna take it seriously, it's not just some little thing you wanna do on the side, then go ahead and apply. I'll put the application down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Also on that page, I tell my story and I give some advice on how you can start YouTube as well. So it's basically some free training. So yeah, web design QA specialists, uh, really good career. Basically, you're gonna be doing quality assurance on different web design projects. So people create websites, they design them, and you're gonna be doing quality assurance on that. Definitely doesn't require a college degree, does typically require previous experience. However, it does pay 81 to $133,000 a year. So usually it's better to get into a lower level web design job, and then you can move into web design QA. Another similar job would be a web tester and quality assurance analyst, and they make about 77 to $130,000 a year. And here's a job opportunity. You can pause the video and check it out if you'd like. So yeah, really good stuff. Um, I'm going to go ahead, just because this one's a little harder to get into, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next one is very interesting. Uh, and we debated on whether we were going to include this one in the video, but I thought it was really interesting. And that is a psychedelic guide. And this is somebody who remotely supports clients through therapy sessions involving psychedelics, and they specialize in mental health and wellness. And this is actually getting more and more popular. And it's really starting to be studied well by science and people are having really good results with it. But with that being said, you don't want to do it on your own. You want to have a professional working with you. In fact, maybe even a team of professionals. So you'd likely be assisting a psychologist to work with clients and patients. This is actually a very common position in Oregon specifically because they legalize this and psychedelic guides mind blowingly are making 92 to $167,000 a year. So this is one of those new careers where people are absolutely crushing it. And very likely it's going to be legalized in more and more states. I'll put some job postings up on the screen. You can check them out here. So yeah, interesting one to look into. I debated on whether I was going to include this one because you know, you definitely want to be careful with this stuff. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an integration coach. This is also very similar to the last one. And you basically guide clients through their psychedelic journeys and you provide support, accountability and integration assistance. And of course, you'd be working in the mental health and wellness industries. And there's a lot of jobs available in Oregon specifically because they legalized it. And integration coaches make 96 to $171,000 a year. So this one is more kind of like being on your own type of thing rather than the other one, which would be working with someone else. So it's more of a individual type of thing. And it's typically only available in certain areas. So you can pause the video and check out the job opportunity. I will put it up on the screen. But yeah, interesting one to look into. Um, I'll also give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an Amazon advertising specialist. So as you probably know, Amazon generates I mean, just insane amounts of money every single year. It is a multi, multi, multi billion dollar company. It's basically like an entire country in one company. And they also hire hundreds of thousands of people. And there are certain types of advertising you can do on Amazon to promote your products if you are an Amazon FBA specialist or if you sell on Amazon. And that's what this job is all about. You are specializing in doing that type of advertising. And Amazon ad specialists make about 60 to $107,000 a year. Now, as you can imagine, there are no college degrees on how to do advertising advertising on Amazon. So this is something that you can learn on your own by taking courses or certifications online or just trying it out and learning that way. I'll put some job postings up on the screen. You can check them out if you'd like. So yeah, this is a really good one. I'm going to go ahead and give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, if you want to learn how to do advertising, this falls under the umbrella of digital marketing. And I've helped a bunch of people get digital marketing jobs. And I've even done interviews and testimonials on this channel. And they were all able to do these marketing jobs through my friend Seth's coaching program. And he actually does a free training, which you can check out down in the description as well as the pinned comment below where he goes over all the different types of digital marketing jobs he recommends, exactly what they are and what they entail and whether or not digital marketing is right for you. So definitely check that out. Absolutely worth it, completely free and people absolutely love it. I even get emails about it. Next is a remote job developer. And this is where you're actually going to aid people in securing work opportunities. And it's almost like being a career GPS. So there's a lot of people in this field or similar fields that actually watch my channel and they reach out to me. So shout out to you guys. I'm gonna be covering your career now. 
and typically they make anywhere from 13 to 21 dollars per hour and a lot of the time you'd be working for different government agencies or organizations that specialize in helping people get jobs i'll put some job opportunities up on the screen you can check them out so yeah really good one i'm gonna go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score by the way comment below if you are somebody who recommends these videos to other people or there's you know certain jobs that you really like that i should have mentioned in this video or some of the ones i did mention in this video that you did like or ones that you didn't like go ahead and comment below give me your opinion about it and we can all learn more from this next is going to be a disposition coordinator now this is very similar to a vehicle return clerk because you're going to be assisting individuals in returning their vehicles to the auto manufacturer and you're going to be focusing on ensuring proper documentation and providing support during the potentially stressful process and in this position you make about 63 to 104 thousand dollars a year relatively easy to get into uh typically doesn't require a college degree sometimes they require previous experience sometimes they don't of course there's ways i've talked about on this channel of generating experience when you don't really have any i'll put some job postings up on the screen you can check them out if you'd like so yeah this one's pretty good i'll go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score next is going to be an escalation specialist and this is somebody who specializes in soothing irate customers now i have a good friend in real life whose name is jamie and i actually used to work with him and we used to refer to him as the karen whisperer because he was so good at dealing with karens dealing with angry customers and so if you're that type of person who's really good at de-escalating and dealing with these angry customers this could be a great position for you and you make more than the average customer service representative because you have to deal with these karens all day long or customers that have legitimate complaints in some cases and in this position you make about 45 to 75 thousand dollars a year and the best thing is it's really easy to get into in many cases you can get into it without any previous experience or a college degree sometimes if you've worked a customer service job this would be a great job to go into as well that pays higher and you can pause the video and check out the job opportunity i'll put up on the screen for you so yeah pretty good one i'm going to actually give this one a 9 out of 10 opportunity score next is going to be a debit card support representative and this is somebody who assists banking clients with technical inquiries and transactions and a fun fact here is debit cards have actually been around since the 1960s believe it or not and this is when the first atm machines came out and this absolutely revolutionized the way that people access their money and debit card specialists make about 42 to 64 thousand dollars a year i'll put some job postings up on the screen you can check them out here so yeah pretty good one relatively easy to get into i'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 7 out of 10 opportunity score by the way share this video with a friend family member student etc anybody who needs to see it someone who just needs to get a job go ahead and share this video with them because i love it when i get these comments of hey my family sent this to me or my friend sent this to me or my teacher sent it to me and you can really make a big difference in their lives as well next is going to be an apartment locator and this is kind of like being a dating matchmaker except in the real estate world where you match up houses or apartments with renters or buyers so basically somebody sends you their specifications for exactly what they want and you go and you do tons of research and then you set up appointments for them to actually check out these apartments and this saves them a ton of time and effort and in many cases you might be able to get them a better deal as well and apartment locators make about 102 to 116 thousand dollars a year so this is really well paying and obviously you'd not need a college degree to do this and in many cases you don't even need previous experience and go ahead and check out the job opportunity if you would like so this one is really really good I like this one a lot I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score next is going to be a labor clerk and this is somebody who basically manages time card and pay related issues so when somebody gets employed by the hour they might take some time off they might you know take an extra lunch break and so their time is going to be a bit different and you need to be able to monitor this so you pay them correctly and so you're almost like a payroll detective also sometimes people do uh, overtime and so you have to do those calculations for them I'll put some job postings up on the screen you can check them out if you'd like so payroll administrators make about 57 to 85 thousand dollars a year also relatively easy to get into typically does not require a college degree sometimes it requires previous experience but they usually don't really care what your experience is in so yeah pretty good one I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8 out of 10 opportunity score next is going to be a pricing analyst and this is somebody who supports pricing strategies and proposal development and they're usually employed in the finance or business sector so pricing strategies are surprisingly complicated and you might raise the price of a product and make a lot less money because way less people buy it so pricing strategy is incredibly important so pricing analysts make about 75 to 113 thousand dollars a year I'll put some job opportunities up on the screen you can check them out now this is something where sometimes they require a college degree sometimes they don't sometimes they require previous experience and sometimes they don't but it is relatively easy to get into so I really like it for this video I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score because it's a bit harder than some of the other ones to get into next is going to be an insurance processes support specialist and this is somebody who basically administers insurance processes with meticulous attention to detail this is kind of like 
like being an architect of paperwork and processes, where every form filled out is a brick in the sturdy castle of insurance processes. Now, insurance support specialists make about fifty-five to eighty-eight thousand dollars a year, and it doesn't require a lot of previous experience and usually no college degree in order to get into it. So you can pause the video and check out the job opportunity. I will put it up on the screen. And by the way, guys, even if you go to some of these job listings and they do say they require a college degree, any career that I recommend in these videos, I've said this a million times on the channel. I'll say it again. Just apply anyways. It's usually a wish list. It's not something that they actually need. And more and more companies are starting to drop this because they realize it just doesn't matter whether people have a college degree or not. So yeah, this one's really good, relatively easy to get into. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a regression specialist. And this is somebody who's responsible for ensuring software quality. And they do it by developing and executing what's known as regression testing. And this is basically ensures that when you make changes to the software, it doesn't inadvertently break existing functionality. And regression testers make about 76 to $133,000 a year. So basically, you're almost like somebody who's just testing out the software whenever there's a change and just looking at every single nook and cranny to make sure that it's not breaking anything. Now, this doesn't require college degree. Sometimes they will require previous uh, technology related experience, but it's usually not as much as you might think. So it's relatively easy to get into. And I have helped people get into this type of career that didn't have any IT or, you know, software development experience beforehand. I'll put some job postings up on the screen. You can check them out if you'd like. So yeah, really good one. It is a bit harder to get into than some of the other ones on this list. So I'm going to give it a solid eight out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, guys, if you made it this far in the video and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? About 80% of you on this channel have not subscribed. Only 20% have subscribed and 80% are lurkers. So come on, log into your YouTube account and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate it. Next is going to be an Epic analyst. Epic is actually one of the most common electronic medical record technology tools. So if you've ever worked in a hospital or a clinic, you have probably used Epic. And as an Epic analyst, you would be working with hospitals to make sure that it suits their specific needs. And Epic analysts make about 71 to $121,000 a year. So really, really good money. And all you have to do is just have a deep understanding of how that one software works. So yeah, really good one. Uh, another one of those niche healthcare related careers. I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And you can pause the video and check out the job opportunity I'll put up on the screen for you. By the way, if you haven't checked it out already, I did put out a video that went absolutely viral, got over a million views. And that is the 21 highest paying work from home jobs. And you can check that out by clicking right here.